Hi guys, this is Corey with Sellercore.com and the Sellercore Free Auction Template Editor. We've been talking about the CSS editor found inside the Sellercore software. Wanted to touch on all the features, some are more advanced than the others, so just wanted to give you an idea of what you can get out of them, what you can expect from them. We've already talked about the text, border, and background features, so if you want to know any more about those, check out those videos. In this video, we're going to be talking about size. Now, size is in reference to literally the size of the div you want, the size of the image, size is how you change the size of things. So to go into our example, same example as last time, this text that says Cellicore CSS is awesome inside a basic zip inside a basic div. In this example I copy and space down a bunch of times. You can see that just line breaks in there. So this way I'll have more of it so I can show you some size examples. So if I double click in there and hit edit CSS style For these examples, I'm going to turn on a background color because by default these are backgrounds are transparent, so this way we can see the size jumping around. So, a few things to note on size divs naturally stretch the width of the screen and stretch out for whatever's inside of them. Spans will stretch out down however far they go, but will stretch the width of the content inside of them. Images by default will be whatever the image is programmed to be. However, you can change the width or height. You know, you can skew it out if you want. So we're working with a div here. So the div stretches the width of the screen and down to hold the content. So we can go in here. We had pretty straightforward stuff. Width, height, you know, minimum width, max, max width, minimum height, max height. So if I were to go to width, put 300 in here. I get a div that's 300 pixels wide. Pretty straightforward. It still stretches down the field of content. Now, of course, I can make it smaller than the content if I wanted to. Well, that doesn't do it. We'll do 100. You know, and it forces that to wrap. So, and I can also do a percentage. So we'll put it at 50 and pixels. So that's. 50 pixels or 50 percent excuse me so that 50 percent is 50 percent of our preview here if I were to go with this it's now 50 percent of our screen that we're using in our editor bed if I were to do a live preview 50 percent and if, as you see if I drop this screen size down still 50 percent make it small still 50 percent so something you notice that while it stays at 50 percent this obviously has gotten smaller and larger and the pixels within it have changed so this is something to keep in mind that someone using a mobile device as opposed to a big desktop screen are going to have very different pixels inside of this box if you use percentages. There's still reasons to use percentages, but a lot of times it's better just to go with a set pixel width so you know how wide that's going to be on everybody's screen. You know, everyone will get the same experience. So we double click back in there, go back to edit, go back to size. So I'm going to set this at 100%, so it's going to go 100% across the screen. But now I'm going to change our max width. What max width is, if I set this to 300, literally it's trying to stretch 100% across the screen, but when it hits a width of 300, our max width, it stops. So it'll be 100% with a 300 max width. So another example of that, if I set this for, if I set this for 1200, you can see that it goes across our screen here, but there's no bottom horizontal, where if I were to set this for 1200, pixels it creates it creates a bottom horizontal so I can stretch that so what that's doing hundred percent because this because this example our preview window is smaller than 1200 pixels when it goes below that 1200 that max it converts over to hundred percent so another quick example of that if I go into our live preview you can see my screen has more than 1200 pixels in it so we have this extra space over here but if I were to set this at 10 1024 it the 100% takes over and once again the 800 pixels the 100% takes over so this is good to use I use it in a lot of the eBay templates that way I set it to something like 100% with a 9 with a 900 max that way it doesn't stretch across the whole screen it has a nice frame to it but if someone were to stretch the screen size down or have a smaller screen size it takes up all the available space so as, so on the opposite side, minimum would be, you know, if I don't want it to be anything smaller than that. So I set 600, and you can see in this example it doesn't do anything. But if I were to come here and stretch this down below 600, 
you can see that now I have a horizontal bar. So the 100% took over in the middle of 600 and 1200, but it won't let me go smaller than 600. So you probably won't run into situations where you need that very much when designing your templates, but it is an option in CSS and when you're designing websites. So I wanted to put it in there so you had an idea what it is and a little bit how to use it. So moving on, get rid of these. We'll set this, we'll leave it at 100%. So height, height generally, just leave it empty you know that way your content will always fit in there but if you have like an image or a situation where you want an exact height you can of course change it 200 pixels you can see that now it's 100 percent wide 200 pixels down but in this scenario our text overflows outside of it because it has nowhere else to go we we told it the line break down it gets to the end it keeps on going so you know once again a minimum max height you won't run across this as much because people can scroll up and down but once again they're CSS options so I put them there but in this example it, it overflows so we have our overflow if I set it to auto what it does is it throws the content back inside of the div and now it gives us a horizontal scroll bar or excuse me a vertical scroll bar so we can scroll up and down and see all that content inside that div if I turn on from auto the scroll it will always show our scroll bar if we need them or not. So now our horizontal scroll bar, there's no scroll option, but the bar is there. This is something that you probably generally don't want to use because it's, you know, it's not very pretty. And visible and hidden. Now, visible and hidden, when you go to like mobile things, you'll, 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 you'll still see them. You won't see them, but you can still scroll with them with your finger. So on a mobile device, even if I have it set to scroll where it turns on, I probably won't see the scroll bars, but with my finger, it would scroll down, and when it hit the bottom, it would continue to scroll the page. So, and of course, overflow X, overflow Y, if I just want to do something with the horizontal or vertical scroll bar. All right, guys, another example that I wanted to touch on with the size was, we'll go to this example. This is just straight text inside of one div. I'm gonna click on that, go in here, when we talked about text, we talked about line height a little bit. I said I would touch on this. So we'll go to background, turn this on. We'll make this a little bit bigger, 25 pixels. We'll give us a bold. So what I wanted to do here, we'll go to size. We'll set this to 600 and we'll center it, center to text, center to text. We'll center to the whole thing. We'll talk about next video, but back to size. So let's say this is a header I'm making and I wanted it to have a little ump to it. So I want it to be 200 pixels. Let me make it a little small, maybe 150 pixels. So by default, this is gonna stay at the top. So this is a little CSS trick. We talked about line height. Line height literally will wrap the text to the next height we are talking about. So there's no line height set here. So if I were to set this at like 50 or even 100, you can see that moves it down when I when I space down to my next my next line it'd be down here somewhere it puts a hundred pixels around our text so since I know this box is 150 pixels if I were to set this at 150 pixels it puts it right in the middle now if I just line up this this header were more than one line our next text would be way outside of the box so you got to be considerate of that but this is an easy hack to put that in the middle of your box. But once again, this is a good reason why you use static pixels because I know my height is 150 pixels. So if I set my line height to a, the same 150 pixels, I know my text is gonna stay in the middle of that. I can change my text to any size I want and it's gonna stay in the middle of that. Here you can actually see where it went beyond the 600 so it dropped down. So, you know, something that stays in there. But it's in the middle despite how big or small my text is. So. All right, guys, this has been Corey with Sellacore.com, the free auction template editor. Hope all that made sense as usual. If not, please leave me a question or comment below or email me at Sellacore.com. Thank you for watching.